Hi, I'm Shala Samson. Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Animation. And in this episode, we're going to discuss a very important uh, step in the animation production pipeline that is most times being overlooked. And the step is planning. So under this topic, these will be the points we'll be looking at critically. Initial story script storyboard and um, how you can build details with respect to camera timing contrast and then references so before i talk much on this i would like you to see what the shot looks like and we can discuss further as usual so have a look okay welcome back so that's the shot you have right there and before we continue i would like to give a shout out to shiri Lydia for this awesome environment modeling and characters so it's it's awesome and i'm happy to let you guys know that you can get some of uh, our models on our website www.levonation.com because every model you see right in all our animated shots were modeled in-house so we own the right to the property so <laughs> so you can get it on our website actually a shout out to um kelvin mcloyd for a sounds that were used in the shots and we i also downloaded some other random sounds that i'm sure they're reality free i don't know their name i would have given them shout outs to but shout out to you guys you guys rock okay and that's enough shout out for today i think we should get back to business oh that reminds me uh i want to put the streets to guys out there um let's talk animation is not that kind of animation that teaches you step by step on how to achieve a particular goal let's talk animation is not um a follow-through tutorial but it's that tutorial that gives you tips and tricks on how to make your workflow better it's that tutorial that helps you to dot your eyes and cross your t's more like an icing on the cake if you know what i mean yeah but then if you're out there and you are interested in tutorials that will take your hands and walk you step by step in achieving a particular result there's good news Levonation studios are coming up with another kind of tutorial called how to tutorial and this tutorial would teach you on a specific workflow yeah in achieving one thing or the other so you can follow this tutorial and achieve the same result as the tutor and very soon we'll get that on our youtube channel eleven ocean studios so keep your mind on this it promises to be great <laughs> there's a lot to be shared a lot of knowledge to be shared trust me guys yeah and if you're wondering how stuff like this can be made or you're interested in the cg world good news for you also 
we have lots of creative guys around yeah very creative and if you don't know how to meet up with anyone to discuss with i have this uh, group on facebook that i'd like to recommend to you and that's the animation um west africa group the hour group so join the group and set yourself on a good platform to become a very good artist trust me guys guys on that platform are very creative and most of them are africans we also have nigerians too and you'll be amazed that nigeria has a lot of good creative guys so enough of talking and talking and talking i get carried away while talking sometimes so let's get back to business let's talk animation three we're talking about planning but the first um item i have on my list is initial story yeah for the short i just played the video we had an initial story first before anything this is where your project starts from you must have a story no matter how rough the story is so in our case we have we had an initial story, very rough and basic, and we just had to tweak that story. And from this story, we developed a script. Yeah. So I'm going to show you an example of what a script looks like. And this was the same script we developed for this project. I have that here. So here is the script for the project. Oh, so you can see from the script way where you kind of have uh, voiceovers too but then in the final video there wasn't voiceover that's as a result of the constraints in time we had we had time constraints so we just couldn't uh, accommodate for that so from the script we developed a storyboard which uh Okay, I don't have that now. I would have loved to show you guys what the storyboard looks like. So from the script, we developed the storyboard. And it's just basically me sketching things. Yeah, just to get the basic idea of what happens and when it happens. So you just see me draw funny lines like uh, this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just basic sketches to give me something yeah you get it so build details with respect to camera this is what it means when you have a scene that you're working on it's a good habit to build your details around your camera this is the the scene we used and you can see we have this cube here to represent uh, the bed of the sister that is um, abby's bed and this is the corridor from which alex came in through and we made the scene as basic as we can after doing this, I created a camera and I animated the camera as you can see. So this camera takes the exact position that I wanted to have in the final shot. And this was the guideline for populating the scene. So we built the scene around this camera and that made the scene very light and easy to work with so from this point i think it's good to move on to the next topic next item on the list rather so we have work out your timing first before details yeah this is very very important because you don't want to animate a shot and at the end of the day you realize that whatever you've done is not just working that can be so frustrating and you know why because animation is boring <laughs> i hope nobody heard me say that but of course that's the truth so you need to work out your timing first i'm going to show you an example so in this shot watch this i represented 
Alex with this uh, green cube and I did a rough timing of the cube. When I was satisfied with the timing, I went further to block um, Alex according to the position of this cube. So this is just a rough one and this was what I did at the end of the day. Badges in, yeah, and so the same motion that I used for the cube was what I used in blocking out him, in blocking out his movement. So that's that about working out your timing first. So the next one now is plan contrast which is also very important. So this is what this means. If you look at the shots, everything is not just happening at the same time. Watch, fast movement, and then there's a pause here, and then it gradually walks forward, another pause, snaps to the wall, snaps to the wall. So you have fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. That's adding contrast to your shot. So we're moving on to the last item, which is planning with reference. Now, for this shot, sometimes when you want to animate a shot, you, you think you know it all. Oh, I can do it. Isn't that just a character jumping up or a character sitting down? Yeah, I can do it. But trust me, when you work with reference, you have lots of details that you might not pay attention to. And this would make your work better. For example, this part where the guy tries to sneak up on his sister. I got a reference from a movie I used to love those days. The Mask. There's this part where he was trying to sneak. And he doesn't want to alert the landlady. I love the way the movement was. So I just had to exaggerate his movement because this is a 3d character and not a realistic human being so i had to exaggerate his movement and then his timing was also different from the timing of uh, jim carrey in that reference but basically the the idea is you get a reference and tweak that reference to suit your own purpose and sometimes you can even go out to the mall watch people walk around and just try and study them carefully as an animator watch how they make their movement watch how their movement why their movement is unique watch what leads what watch the drag they follow through in their motion so when you walk this way it's going to help your project a great deal so friends this is um, all the time we have for this episode of Let's Talk Animation, where we talked about planning. I'm looking forward to see you next time in the next episode, and that's coming shortly. So be expectant. Thank you for listening. Bye.